Mr. Red Billion, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm great. Thanks, So, my brother, you're the trader, you're empowering kids, and I'm sorry to say kids, the youth and everybody in South Africa is seeing yeah. you as a role model. Yeah. So, what can you say about your journey and what can you say to the youth about this journey? About my journey? Yes. Like the, my journey has been something that's not really that hard. Been trading and then I didn't have hope. It, in fact, it was that hard because I didn't have hope. Like now I'm in the clip of good hopes. Who knew I'll be here? So I didn't have that hope that I could make it in life. So there's somewhere at some point I would bounce school just to try trading, low trade, low. So trading for me was something that I've never thought it would work for me. There's a point where I thought that trading is a scam because if I didn't have that mentor, I didn't have someone who can empower me. Even my parents, my family would tell me that stop training to go to school. You know, when you know you can't make it in school, you know you can't make it in school, but then there's that thing, like, you know, like, I've lost hope. After my trade, you know, you still have to carry on and go to more, uh, like, uh, go to varsities and college and stuff. I know I, I still fail in college and varsity. So to me, when I started trading, things happened. So I'm thankful, I'm grateful for trading products. I also heard that there was a story whereby your mother was forcing you to study boiler making. So how did you, um, what can I say? Can you put the words? I don't know how to like say it. Like boiler making, yeah. Yeah. Fish boiler making needed pure meds. And no in school. Even meds literacy was so hard for me. So I even had to focus. So my mom, my mom wanted me to do boiler making. But then you know, you, you, as the child, as the child, you can't say no because of your mom wants the better future for you. Our parents, I can, I, I understand. Our parents need our future to be better because of they think that if you get that salad, like 15k, 15k per month, it's, it's you can make a living out of yourself rather than trading forex. They thought that forex is something that can work for you. At least forex, you can make that 15k in a day. So. So the way you are saying, so you are telling the youth to stop going to school and concentrate on forex. So what if there are people that, like for example, yeah. if people don't go to school, you won't have accountants. So yeah. who will be able to tell you what happened to your, your accounts last week and things like that? Yeah. You won't have PAs. Yeah. So meaning like forex is, won't be like each and every time, but you need a person that goes to school. So what yeah. are you saying? Like I'm not saying that like, people shouldn't go to school, but then I'm saying like we need accountants, we need doctors, we need engineers, we need all those. So I'm saying if school is for you, school can be for you. You can also go to school and also trade. So school is for everyone. Like people who need money, like you know those people, like they need money. There's no way they can make it in school. Trading for it, it can be an option. Trading for it can be an option. So you can trade, you can go to school. It depends what you need. It depends what you need. Okay, and then there's also those like they're going to school but then money is never getting to their head so they also focus on being engineers and better doctors so, so yeah oh, okay so i understand so if let's say in life if one's introduced to forex why are you gonna still go to school or you gonna get a side hustle like for me for me to speak the truth i won't even go to school if I had this opportunity while I was still in grade two, uh, for me I wouldn't even go to school. Like I'll just have that new age and watch watch YouTube, you know, like just watch YouTube things and see what's happening on, on in the world, what's the world things. Get educated through YouTube, not going to school because of being in class, listening to someone telling me this and that, don't speak at your own time. So school was never my thing. Okay, so thank you very much. We had a nice interview with you. So please come again next time. Thank you.